Hi guys, this is going to be another emulator tutorial and I thought I covered pretty much every emulator for iOS but I was wrong. The emulator I haven't discussed and show you how to get is Provenance and as you know Delta made its way to the App Store and ever since has been blowing up in the App Store and getting a lot of attention and now that Apple is allow now allowing emulators to the to the app store more emulators can make its way to the app store like retroarch main for ios ppssp and provenance now today i will show you how to get provenance using the old store and yes it's the side loading method if you guys don't have a computer then this video is not for you but like i said provenance is making its way to uh, onto the app store soon and when it does i'll show you how to get it without a computer but for now i will show you how to get provenance using the old store and so let's get started with the tutorial uh so first step is you're gonna need old store and you get old store and to get old store um uh, you need a computer you need a a mac mac or windows computer and I'll, I'll i'll leave a link in the description or comments on how to download all store on your windows or mac computer and and get all store and install it on your iphone or ipad but once you get all store you're good to go and you're ready to st for step two and step two is downloading the provenance the ipa so you go to safari go to safari sorry safari and you search provenance provenance emu like this it's the first one provenance emu.com this one the first one scroll down and you click on download ipa once you click on download ipa it's going to bring you to this page so you scroll down keep scrolling down until you see this uh it's gonna be the third one the provenance the ipa uh 32.4 megabytes so tap on that the third one click download once that downloaded click on just simply click on the where where the where the where the aa is in the it's in the down it's uh right here and then the in the top left the right here and then you click downloads and you click on the search icon here on provenance and then once you've done that uh now uh, now you have to connect your phone your iphone to your computer your iphone or ipad into your computer and um and all you do okay is go to all store go to my apps plus sign and click on provenance keep app extensions and um and uh, all the alt server on your computer has to be running and and you have to be connected to your computer to in order for provenance to download just wait for it to download they're downloaded close out now you should see it on your home screen uh, it's called provenance uh, Click on it to open it up. It'll say provenance would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. Just click on allow. And then it'll say game library empty import ROMs. So yet um I cannot show you how to get ROMs in games. Um but a quick Google search will do the trick and you should be able to find them and download them. But once you download them, all you do is just click on the plus sign here local cloud local files uh find your your rom 
Oh, one thing, one thing I'm gonna say is that Providence supports the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Sony PlayStation One. So yeah, it supports all those systems. Uh, it doesn't have arcade. It doesn't have DS. It doesn't have Sega Genesis. I mean, I mean Sega Dreamcast and P Sony PSV. It doesn't have that. If you're looking to play those systems, I recommend Retroarc. But other than that, uh, once you get your your ROM, your game, all you do is just tap on it tap on the one you want to import so in my case i'm going to click on spider-man it's a sony playstation one and i'm going to click open once it's done once that's done um you gotta wait it doesn't there's no progress bar or anything like that but you just gotta wait Until it see until it says extraction complete. Once that's once that said that it says there's oops there's a there was a conflict while importing your game. Click on let's go fix it. And now, uh, I'm trying to import a PlayStation game. Uh, and um. And I'm saying that solve conflicts, and then it's giving me two options to click on the Spider Man USA.Q, the Spider Man USA.Bin. And the one that you want to click on, if you want to try and play a PlayStation 1 game, if you're trying to import a Sony PlayStation 1, um, uh, ROM, all you, all you do is just click on the, the .Q one, it has to be the .Q one. And clicks PlayStation. Once it's done, click on done. As you can see, uh, the game should pop up on your home screen. When you tap on it to try to play on it, it'll say, "Can I open the game?" This system requires BIOS files. Please upload C S C P H five thousand five hundred dot bin S C P H five thousand five hundred one dot bin and C S C P H five thousand five hundred and two dot bin to bios dot com dot provenance dot psx. So yeah, you have to open, you have to import the bios to do that. All you do is just go to your your files. Uh, uh, I cannot show you where to get the PlayStation bios, but a simple Google search should do the trick, and you should be able to find them and download them. And and Google, but once you've done that, uh, I have it. I have my PlayStation BIOS in the PlayStation BIOS folder here, and it, it Providence wants uh the C S C P H five thousand five hundred dot bin S S C P H five thousand five hundred one dot bin and S C P H five thousand five hundred two dot bin, so. I'm just gonna copy these these three over to the provenance the folder provenance. So I'm gonna copy each one by one. So hold it, copy, go to back, go to the provenance folder here, go to BIOS, go to go to this this folder right here, PSX, hold, paste. Then we'll do the same for the rest. Hold, copy, provenance, BIOS, this one, hold, paste, one more, hold, copy, provenance, BIOS, provenance.psx, paste, and now once that's done, all you do is just close out, open provenance again. Tap on on the play your Sony PlayStation One game, and now it should load up. You might be saying, "Do I have to extract? 
my Sony PlayStation 1 ROM? And the answer is no, you don't have to. Uh, prominence will automatically extract your your ROM. Uh, prominence will automatically extract your ROM, your PlayStation ROM, and and yeah, and then you just gotta follow the steps that I just did. I'll add another game, another PlayStation game to to help you uh, get the rhythm of adding your playstation one games so all you do is just plus again plus sign plus button at the top right cloud and local files locate your your playstation one rom um in my case i'm gonna add a king of fighters 95 so i'm gonna tap on it and in an instant dot zip seven zip just leave it like that don't extract it just leave it like that just tap on it Tap on the ROM, locate it where it is, and then click open. And then all you do, all you got, all you do is just gotta wait until it says extraction complete. It may take some time. It takes a bit of time because it's extracting your ROM, your file. And that's the good thing about Providence is that you don't have to extract your ROMs. It automatically it automatically extracts your your ROMs onto the application. So now extracted, it says extraction complete, and then it says, "Oops, there there was a conflict while importing your game. Let's go fix it." And look at these files right here. This looks scary, but like I said before. You're looking for the .q, and as you can see, it's right here, King of Fighters 95, the USA .q, that one, and you click on PlayStation. Once that's done, you click on Done, and as you can see, it'll pop up to King of Fighters 95, and when you tap on it, the game will load up. I'll show you a little bit of gameplay, and then I'll show, I'll show a Game Boy Advance game, and then... And then that's it. You could play vertical or landscape like this. It's up to you. You can see it's working. You could play this with the controller, uh, with the Backbone One controller, PS4, PS5, Xbox, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all the con controllers you could use for provenance. Uh, so yeah, if you just connect it on Bluetooth, your PS4, PS5, or Xbox controller, and if you have like like a Backbone One controller, you just simply just connect it to your phone, and uh, you'll be able to play the games on your with your controller, like Delta. As you can see, it's working. I'm playing. King of Fighters 95. So yeah, that's King of Fighters 95 on the PlayStation 1. I'll add a Game Boy Advance game. So all I do is just click on the plus sign again. Cloud and local files. Locate where it is. In my case, it's in the downloads folder in on my iPhone. Downloads folder here. Uh, and sometimes when you download ROMs, it could be in your iCloud downloads folder, right here. But in my case, it's in my on my iPhone, and then downloads folder, and then it's right here. My GBA ROM, my Game Boy Advance ROM, is here. So you just I just tap on it, and then click open. It says extraction complete. I don't see the game. 
all you do is just close out, open it again, and as you can see, it'll pop up again. It'll pop up. All you do is just tap on it. Let's say multiple cores found. Select which core to use with this game. If not sure, select the first option. So I'm just click on the the first option here. Visual Boy Advance. You know, just put this. You could put always for this system, always for this game, or this time. I'm gonna put always for this system. Oh, it crashed. Sometimes it crashes, but once you tap on it. Uh, it will load up. As you can see, a Game Boy Advance is working. Round one, fight. As you can see, it's working. Like I said, it, it Boundless supports Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Sony PlayStation 1. That pretty much sums up my video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, like the video, and comment, and let me know uh, what kind of videos you wanna you want me to upload next. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.